Hi again and welcome to another Rack Nerd tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install cPanel in your Rack Nerd VPS. Now I apologize in advance um, if you hear some birds tweeting or sirens in the background. Um, I'm in my studio and it's just way too hot today so I've had to open some windows. Alright, before we install cPanel I need to install uh, a text editor to edit some config files. So I'm going to install nano, so I'll go yum install nano and I'll say yes to that. The next thing we need to do is we need to edit the network sysconfig file to set the fully qualified domain name that you're going to use. So to do that I'll go sudo nano etc sysconfig slash network. Now we need to add a line in here called host name equals uh, and now I'm going to call the server hosting so we'll go hosting and then the fully qualified domain name rack nerd demo dot com and we'll save that now this uh, rack nerd demo part will be whatever you want to name it um, whatever your domain name is so we'll just save that Next thing we need to do is we need to uh, change our host name file. So we'll go slash etc slash host name. Oh, host name, sorry. And we're going to change this to hosting because that's what we wanted our host name to be. And we'll save that. Now we need to change the host file, which we just delete the name and add s on the end of it. We need to change this. This is where we set our fully qualified domain name. So we need to change this to hosting dot .com and we'll just put in hosting as our host name there. We'll save that. Now if we type host name here, you'll see hosting is now our host name. And if we just add a tag of f on the uh, the end of it that will show our fully qualified domain name. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to disable the network service manager um, because cPanel doesn't support this. So in order to do this um, we type in system ctl stop network manager manager there we go let me type that in correctly there we go. Just copy and paste it. And then the next thing we need to do is disable. So I've actually got this all copied um, on the side here. So I'm just going to paste it in here. So we go system CTL disable network manager and we hit enter. All right. So now that's disabled, we need to restart the network service. So in order to do that, we just type in systemctl enable network.service and we hit enter. And then we need to restart the network. So systemctl start network.service. Okay. Now we need to disable SE Linux by doing the following. We type set force I oh, set in force sorry zero once we've done that we need to open our nano editor and we need to go into the sysconfig slash se linux and we need to change this se linux equals enforcing to disabled Save that and exit. Now we're ready to install uh, cPanel, but I'm going to exit out of this VPS and I'm going to re log back in just so I can show you that it's now changed to hosting, um, is our now our VPS name and our host name. Um, now I'm going to copy and paste this line of code which is available on cPanel's website um, but we'll put it in the description below for you to, uh, to copy and paste. 
and this is just going to go off download the files and install it so we'll hit that now this is going to take some time so i'll speed through the video and we'll come back to it all right so that's now installed now you'll notice up here um there'll be a web address so we want to copy that and we want to paste that into our web browser we'll paste that in there and now it's going to say uh, your connection is not private that's because we haven't got an SSL certificate on there so you will need to install one in order for this not to pop up so we'll click proceed and there we are it's all installed we just go have to go through the uh, setup process uh, we need to put in an email so we'll go rootdave at ratnerd.com and then you can set your custom name servers I'll just leave them as ratnerddemo.com click finish and there we are it's all installed you do need to license your cPanel um, to do that you just hit purchase and uh, you can go off and uh, buy a license Hope this helps. If you need any additional support, give us a call. We love talking to you or send us a support ticket.